Alrighty, welcome to the stream. Thank you for Cricket tuning in. I'm Cricket Tune, and tonight uh, we're going to continue on with the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, DLC, the Teal Mask. Did a little bit of that on uh, on uh, Tuesday when it actually went live. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of. We're just going to keep on with it and. Catch all the Pokemon and progress in whatever stories is there and find out whatever little secrets are in it and all that jazz. And may maybe after two or so hours of it, we might uh, switch over to another game. Maybe either some more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom or, uh, or maybe even a little bit of No Man's Sky or something. Final Fantasy fourteen or some Genshin Impact, one of those one of those four. 
maybe just some retro games. I don't know. I did mention I was going to consider playing something out of that. Oh, well. But yeah, the main focus will be the uh, new DLC, which I'm sure... Oh, that's the wrong scene. <laughs> I still need to reconfigure that scene. So yeah. Just give me a sec here. Alright, now I just need my monitor. Excuse me. Alright, so what I was doing last where we left off... Where where we left off was actually back at uh, the new area, Kitakami, but... In the back of my head was those two uh, fancy people that I... Uh, had a battle with, and then they gave me 17,000 Poké Dollars from the, from the battle. And then they mentioned they were going to some some falls back here, so... First, I wasn't too sure which falls they were talking about, but then after doing a quick look up, like at first I thought it was the Glacetio Falls, or the Casayora Falls, I mean. And then I remember this being a big waterfall, but Nothing there. So I did a quick look up of where they're supposed to be, and apparently they're supposed to be right here at Fury Falls. I'm gonna chase after them first, and then we'll uh, then we'll play around with the rest of the DLC. Maybe they're up above. I never did look up above. The poor Dragonite stuck in the waterfall. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, there they are. Those ten sites of Paldea that I heard so much about. You're correct, my dearest O'Neill. These are the Fury Falls. I expected something a bit more grandois. Uh, you went to the wrong falls. <laughs> really feel a positive energy, though, dullness notwithstanding. Only can I feel the positive energy flowing. I dare say there's glitterati energy in the air as well. Truly, your glitterati aura fills the air with a sense of rejuvenation. Thank you for speaking the truth as always, Billy. Hold on, isn't that our dear commoner? The one from before? Yeah, I chased you guys over here. Could it be fate? Coincidence? Or maybe you're drawn here by our glitterati energy? Oh, indeed, indeed. It's our duty as Glitterati to make the dreams of the common folk reality. Or, more specifically, to give them fine items. Damn, 15 big pearls. That's a, that's a chunk of change. Money isn't too dissimilar from positive energy. When you're surrounded by it, it may bring you calm and stability. But you'll never know for sure whether that happiness you feel is true or not. Please, such pearls of wisdom are too profound for a mere child. Come, Billy. I want to go someplace more remote. A place that is not famous or renowned or anything. And so many landmarks that she's tired of it. You're really are exemplary glitterati. I know, just the place. It's by the border between the South Province's Area 5 and Area 1. I know that Billy's barefoot. Sure, he loves walking on this rock. Alright, so they said they were going to the border of Area 5 and Area 1. Yeah, right here. So 
Well, they're somewhere around this mess. I have a feeling they're supposed to fight me in some of these visits, so... Make sure Salamence is out and ready. Come on, you can get up there. You can get up there. somewhere around this area, I think. I would think that this uh, cliff would serve as a border. See that rookie D. <laughs> she sure likes to laugh utterly dull place. Nothing, not a thing worth seeing. It's just what I wanted. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Billy also has a bowl cut. <laughs> Perhaps I should buy up all this land and start some kind of business here. Oh, why if it isn't our dear commoner? I have a way of drawing people to you with your charming personality, dearest own heir. I won't say you're wrong. Fifteen nuggets. Yeah, that's that's another good chunk of change. You would do well to search for riches in areas where there appears to be nothing of value at all. Possibilities are fast as the ocean, no matter where you go. Striking, your words are as pickaxe to rock, loosing nuggets of wisdom from common stone. I'm now bidding, Billy. I have a major craving for fruit. Only the land of Kitakami can find. Uh, Kitakami apples make the best apple juice you know. I'll whip some up for you. Cool, so now we get to go back to Kitakami and go to that apple orchard that we walked by. This will spot Apple Hills. I still like the fact that they added Dragonite to that loading picture there. Oh, it didn't take off as fast. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to look. 
poke around, though. Before we actually engage them. And we got that good old shiny charm, so who knows? Maybe we might get lucky and find some shiny Pokemon. Or maybe even try to do a shiny hunt here. Look, Billy, what a wonderful little garden. Now, this may look like a small garden to you, dear Stone Now. It is, in fact, a full orchard. Come now, this? An orchard? You must be joking. I've never seen one so humble. Thank you for the correction, Billy. No trouble all the ways of the commoner are shrouded in mystery. Ah, commoner, such compelling creatures. They always manage to get my heart racing. Speaking of commoners, isn't that the one we keep running into? You're right. I wish to know more about you, to become more familiar with you. With that in mind, would you do me the honor of having another duel? Depends, has that Persian actually got better now? Or are you actually going to use a different Pokemon? President of Paldea Realty. It's still a Persian. Still a Persian, it's still level 65, and it's, it's still her only one Pokemon. Guess this makes me a loser, Rotti. Another 17,000. Jeez, I should slap the... Oh, I should slap the uh, amulet coin on. What kind of commoner are you, really? <laughs> Do all commoners have Pokemon this strong, or is this one special? That commoner must have something only a select few commoners possess. I believe they call it Gumption. Gumption? Oh yes, I've heard of this. As the commoner says, one thing no Glitterati could ever possess. However, I do believe the word is gumption. <laughs> so Eye-catching as a pearl string, it's no wonder I couldn't best you. Speaking of pearls, I'd quite like to spend some time by the waterside. Come, Billy, let us make our way to the biggest body of water in all of Paldea this instant. Oh, that's easy. That's Cassiora Lake. Yeah, she. I just realized that. <laughs> Pretty sure I have an amulet coin. And if I'm finding a trainer that's constantly giving me like close to twenty thousand poke dollars per fight, then yeah, there it is. Be an even, even neater touch about uh, 
about that Dragonite if it was if it was holding a, a messenger bag. That way it references the Dragonite that you see in the first Pokemon. They're on this particular island up ahead. There's two Valusas. again. <clears throat> look, Billy. Look at this puddle. There's no puddle, my dear, no air. This is the famed Casa Roya Lake, the largest lake in Paldea. You're telling me this is a lake? Surely it can't be more than a pond. So well, what is the difference between a lake and a pond, anyway? I'm not sure. We glitterati do don't tend to clutter our heads with such trivial common knowledge. Why, it's a commoner we always see around. Right, your eyes do not deceive you. What we have you, dear commoner, do tell. What exactly is the difference between a pond and a lake? Uh, both, they're <laughs> both of these are kind of correct. A pond is just like small and, I don't know, I suppose a pond could be pretty deep too. Let's say size. Oh, of course, most impressive. You're as well versed in common knowledge as I hoped. Ten pearl strings. Yeah, that's, uh, that, I think that's even more money than the nuggets and the pearls. <laughs> Happiness is like a body of water. It could be a puddle, a pond, or even a lake. It all depends on how you think about it. Taking the knowledge someone just taught you and putting it on display right in front of them. Come now, Billy. I would like to scale a lofty mountain with pure white snow. As pure and lofty as the ideals of our company. Let's enjoy some gelato while watching ice Pokemon frolic atop a snowy mountain. Well, they're not going pretty far. That's Glacado Mountain. I remember reading there. I think they're in this particular spot of the mountain. Like they're in the, like a remote section of the mountain.
Hey, Penguin, thanks for Cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How you doing tonight? Doing good? That's good to hear. to find some NPCs that are supposed to be on this mountain. <laughs> I have to look it up because I'm definitely definitely lost. <laughs> Let's catch them Pokemans, yes. North Province of the River hitting North Province Area 1. Same. So they should be some they should be somewhere around this area, even though it was just it in that area. I'm always bumped into that uh, Titan and that Glaceon. <laughs> oh, there's a Spirit Tomb. It's not who I wanted, but okay. Wrong attack. Oh, I can't false swipe it anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll be able to catch the spirit tomb. <laughs> kind of already screwed up the chance of getting uh, using a quick ball. A stone axe, at least it does less damage. Nope, that killed it. Okay. We don't need to worry about the pointed stones. <clears throat> Hey, Reno, thanks for Cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How you doing tonight?
a little depressed. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I hope you. I hope that uh, that disappear disappears from you eventually. Oh, we got. Oh, there we go. We didn't get stuck. I'm doing pretty good. Supposed to be somewhere around here. Something a little higher up. Just one of them odd days? Yeah, I feel ya. world of silvery white as far as the eye can see. Truly a view worth, worthy of a glitterati. Sure is, and the gold is no match for these clothes you prepared for me, dearest Donaire. Of course, they're made from the highest quality materials by the highest quality brand, after all. I feel sorry for people who can climb this mountain in anything less. Can it be, has our dearest commoner returned to us once more? how thin the material on our dearest commoner's clothes is. Oh my, that's awfully, awfully flimsy, isn't it? I suppose commoners have an easier time dealing with the cold. I'm sure, but I've heard that commoners say we glitterati line our pockets with money. Perhaps that means the high quality of our clothing is unusual to them. While commoners dress like our dearest one here, then they must simply be used to the cold. Billy, you're... You're a true atridite. For this, I shall grant you the Gold O'Nair Ward. <laughs> yes! Can't wait for the holiday for the final DLC wave from Mario Kart. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that in the Nintendo Direct. Nice of them to bring back Diddy Kong and Funky Kong. Ten big nuggets. Oh, that's even more money. You listen carefully, dear commoner. You may have heard the saying, cold hands, warm heart. Don't be fooled, it's a load of hogwash. You must never ever forget that. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh... No time our reprieve came to a close. I want to finish it with a look down the centermost point of Paldea. Well, we can't get into the Great Crater, but let's make a request to leak, just in case. Now well, they'll get denied. I remember reading they're like somewhere around here. They can't get into the crater, but they can at least. Uh... No, I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, game. Ooh, destination. That's the one I wanted. Last stream ever. It's not my last stream. <laughs> but I know it'll be yours since you're doing night shifts soon. Thank you for cricket tuning in. Night, I appreciate it. How you doing tonight? Play this up to a certain point and then gave up. Yeah. I understand that. DLC or not, yeah. I, I haven't noticed any, like... I, I've noticed some bug fixes so far, but... Nothing like... 
improving this. <laughs> the game still looks bloody terrible, but... I have noticed some lag spike. I, I have noticed one thing, though. The, uh, the loading lag on uh, loading up boxes. Well, unless you do that. If you if you switch for your boxes slowly, the, it doesn't take like five hours for it to load up all the Pokemon. But if you do it fast enough, then, then yeah, it's improved a bit. Well, it's kind of a shame that it's still rough around the edges, but uh, here's hoping they actually get to the, get to doing something about that. I almost picked up Pokemon Let's Go Eevee last night, but went with Disney Dreamlike Valley. Okay, well, that, that I understand because... <laughs> Hell with uh, the Let's Go games. Ah, there they are. They're standing right there. Now my cat wants out. Give me a second. Someone made a GBA version of the game you could play instead. Oh, yeah. So this is the very center of Paldea. What an enormous crater. That's exactly right, dearest Donair. This right here is the great crater of Paldea. Seems we have a new venture to quench my wanderlust, Billy. Come, let's begin our descent. We mustn't, dear no, <laughs> dearest Donair. Entering the crater is strictly forbidden. I petitioned the League for access, but to no avail. They won't even let a glitter Roddy enter? They won't even let a glitter Roddy enter! This must be the conclusion of our retreat. We've been as good as gold and better. Imagine there would be something in this world off limits to a glitter Roddy. Why is that commoner who can't seem to get enough of us? Say, dear commoner, have you entered this crater before, perchance? I have. Thanks to riches, this commoner had the fortune to enter the crater, but the glitter Roddy have not? Well, it seems we have no choice but to duel. <clears throat> Challenging others to duel like a thunderbolt from the blue. And this really isn't a place for a battle. Let's head back now. <laughs> yeah, the let's the let's go games are a remake of Red and Blue, except you're locked. I think you're locked to using a Pikachu or an Eevee, depending on the version, for a starter Pokemon. It's also a little dumbed down, so that so it's a, a lot easier and teaches you like the mechanics of Pokemon and whatnot. One last duel, what do you say? Still got that Persian, I bet. Oh no, an Arbovlia. Okay. Just change it up a smidge. Oh, it's her second Pokemon. She finally got another Pokemon. Unfortunately, you're a grass type. Yeah, nothing terribly special, no. Now she brings out the Persian. Yeah, gained a couple levels. Nope. 
dodge the fake out. <laughs> the power of friendship prevented fake out from actually hitting. Only thing that's good about it, the graphics? Yeah. Yeah, 70,000 poke dollars now. <laughs> Thanks to that uh, amulet coin. Now I've had time to calm down, and I think I finally get it now. Literati, commoners, in the end, we're all just people. There's nothing separating us. Why did it take me so long to realize something so simple? I'm so embarrassed. I wish I could crawl under a rock and hide. I couldn't literally crawl under a rock, of course, but you know what I mean. You were following us around just to teach us that, weren't you? Uh, no, you were giving me free items that are worth a lot of money. That's why I was following you. I'm actually going to say no. No. As expected. I'm not sure why I even asked. <laughs> I hope that these fine items can suffice. 25 big nuggets. And a glitterati case. Now then, Billy, I feel as I've grown as a person during this trip. Starting tomorrow, I'll turn over a new leaf. I'll resume my work as CEO, holding nothing back. Learning from your failures like a pro, you really are an exemplary glitterati. Now, since you taught us a little something, I'll teach you a little something. Oh, we've learned an um, e we've learned an emote. <laughs> right then, adios. And then those two were never heard from again. Damn! So now we got stuff to sell. <laughs> Play something special for your last day of inner peace and enlightenment. Uh. This? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of shinks. Alright, let's go to the nearest store and sell off all these goodies that we just got from those two, and then we'll fly back to Kitakami and continue on with the DLC. We can now adjust how the camera moves while our, we explore the open world. <laughs> Your gift is the word Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's all I could scrounge up in short notice night. I, I, I hope you understand. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of money. Got 15 nuggets, which is 75,000. 35 big nuggets, which is 700,000. 60,000 for the 15 big pearls. 100,000 for the pearl strings. treasures. Alright, back to... Well, actually... I do want to kind of want to see that glitterati case that I just got. Now I remember how we do this. We have to go into the clothing section. Yeah, here's where we can change the, the phone case.
Oh yeah, that's fancy. I've battled 69 shiny Pokemon. Nice. Doesn't feel like I battled that many of them. Maybe it's counting po po shiny Pokemon I've, I use or something. Um, what clothing do I have? Rocking this winter uniform the entire playthrough. <laughs> That's because all the other uniforms are eh. Pokemon. Uh, I don't know, but it's nice. Oh, hey, there's a six. My six stars here. Or my, or that might be an event. actually swap out bellicles. All right, yeah, that's why we're that's why we're not using Skullerch. <laughs> Cuz I want the Skull villain to get some levels. Switch it over to this box, which has all of our new guys in it. All right, where do we go next? Up there, that's where we go next. This hill is what? Oh, hey, it's Jock. What the hell is he doing over here? Join that school trip, are you? Why are you here? I'm check on how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. But here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon of Kitakami, and... Oh, that's right, sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? How about I make it up to you? Make it up by treating you to a picnic. 
brought all the usual picnic things from Director Clavel. Cool, so we're having an impromptu picnic at the moment. With a gulpin. Again, I hope you like the sandwich I made. It may look it may um, look a bit strange, but I assure you it tastes great. Okay, how much of this kind of field work wears me out quick. Oh, could there be something in my basket? I can take off your diamond badge, give it to someone you actually care about. Bruh, I care about you. You're, 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 you're staying as a VIP whether you like it or not. So I still, the, the VIP, I, I think I still got like four more slots for the VIP, so it's not like I need to take it off someone and give it to another person. A Pokemon egg appeared in the basket. I brought Gulp into this picnic with me, and yet... <laughs> Did you put the egg in the basket? I can't get anything past you, can I? <laughs> you know about the Pokemon eggs you find during picnics, right? Yep, it's how this game handles breeding nowadays. Care if they can't care for an egg they find, they can have it sent to the Academy, which will take care of it. Ah, so he's pawning, off, pawning this egg off on me. thing <laughs> so he'll be here in case we in case we complete the Kitakami Pokedex oh there's a C dot all right let's go grab that egg and get it hatched the quickest way to do that is have our camera up hang out with us He's got magma armor, so that'll, that'll speed up the that'll speed up this the egg to hatch. I can't formulate words. Let's catch the seed on. Preferably with my cleavor, not my not my shiny magma zone. Oh, your HP's already full. You don't need synthesis. Now you need synthesis. Ah, great capture. Expand its habitat, it pretends to be a nut so that bird Pokemon will pick it up and carry it far away. Oh, so it's not even a nut to begin with. Seed Aunt. I just realized I need to change my boxes again. <laughs> that Seed Aunt's not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be in here. Egg. I also forgot to swap <laughs> swap cleavor to the top.
Oh, I thought a good sign that it knows double edge. Okay, good. <laughs> it decided to use an entirely different attack. Ooh, four star Clefable, ice type. Eh, if it was five star, I'd bother. Indeed, be that outsider. Oh, I like his little backpack, his little lunchbox thingy. To charge above. Full beat. Oh, that Pokemon's back. No wonder people don't like outsiders. <laughs> I actually don't know what an outsider is. <laughs> Probably shouldn't call people that then. Some pretty feathers. Eggs hatching. What we get? Oh, turt twig. That's cool.
Second best, gra best grass starter. I would say he's one of the best. Full beat fluid. That is unfortunate to pick up. Oh, hey, a timber. It's the wrong Pokemon. focus. Bulbasaur is the best. I agree with that. Well, it actually... <laughs> It actually withstood a couple of uh, all swipes. from behind. He's not new to the DLC. Oh, there's an Ariados. It, though. I'll just evolve the spin rack. There's a girder right in the back, too. <laughs> Rather catch the ducklet. Oh, where's our quick balls? I'll use a quick ball on this one. I still haven't swapped my... my cleavor up. true statements. Uh, if I consider them to be true, sure. Busy reading a sign, Heracross.
Ooh, there's an Arbok. Weeping Bell. Swadaloon, I think that's what that is. Yeah. Play sure has a lot of stuff to pick up. Shop without a shopkeeper. Syrupy apples, five hundred poke dollars each. Yeah, that's that's the, that's what we need to get the new evolution of uh, apple or apple. Yeah, but no, but I said that I I agree on the fact that it's a that it's a good starter. A good grass starter. I didn't say it was second though. I disagree that di disagree with it being second. Big chubby squirrel. Oh, I ran into a fair number of those in the main game anyway. Yeah, that fella. Have a brick break. Surprised I didn't outright kill ya. Here we go. Five star Trevenant. Let's give this a try. It's pure grass, so. <laughs> and maybe my Salamence will take it out. Yeah, let's bring out Salamence for this. for randos to pile in on that.
I hear? Oh yeah, I caught Mewtwo. Yeah, I am online. Maybe there's not a whole lot of people with the DLC. <laughs> I'll give it another try. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting people. Oh, someone coming in with an A-palm. <laughs> oh, nine tails. Yeah, it is a pure grass in this case. Oh, cool. Zach's using a using a legendary we haven't encountered yet. Because we barely touched the story. I like how my Salamence did a did a good chunk of the damage while everyone else was like Italy. Called Ogre Pawn. goes the ogre pawn. And there goes the nine tails. <laughs> any problem on my end. Some, some terrestrialization's going on here. Thing. Should be able to get this done. Yeah, there we go. I'm almost ran out for some reason.
Oh yeah, we're catching this Trevenant. Put him in a dusk ball. Well, from that. That's a shame. I was hoping for some Herba Mystica. If its attack was best. Oh, nice. The Ducklet's special defense is fantastic. A whole bunch of Sea Dot. fluid. I can't even tell what that's supposed to be. Okay, nice. I like how you prioritize the... the... Heracross over whatever the hell that thing is. Let's bump into it. Oh, it's that thing. It's the, uh... It's water type. It's Chug Iced. the regrets of a tears tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. And this is a counterfeit form, so it still has, it still has the counterfeit genuine form as the other as Pol T Geist. Toad's, Toad's cruel, or Toad's cool. There's an Uzleaf. Just 
Star Levani. There's <laughs> there's a Levani right there. Ooh, a cave. Oh, it just has a item in it. Oh, Moonstone, nice. World. Oh, he's coming after us. Oh, it's a <laughs> terrestrialized fighting type. Be worth a catch. If we, we were to evolve this into Apollo Wrath, then that'd be neat. Be able to take advantage of that dress if it's Terra type. Even though it can live on the ground, it prefers living in water. Blame it. It is a tadpole of some variety. Or has a different terror type, I suppose that'd be the correct way of describing it. Because all the Pokemon can terrestrialize. Speed is no good. Ugh. What, it what other abilities does it have? Water absorb, damp, or swift swim. Yeah, swift swim probably sounds a lot more useful. that when your special attack is poop. Oh, 
Give me that body slam. That sounds a lot more useful. More useful than hypnosis. Make him into a Polarath. First, I want to get him out of it. Yeah. Now we have a Polarath. Although it's skilled in a style of dynamic, dy dynamic swimming that uses all of its muscles, for some reason it lives on dry land. And now he wants to learn dynamic punch, which would be awesome if it actually if it didn't have fifty accuracy. Ah, you're. You're good with Brick Break. It's four star though. Yeah, we don't have to worry about Macargo. I I've got a I've got a shiny Macargo in my Pokemon home. Oh, nice nice roomy cave for the seconds. Two Ekans. Mm. This guy is Kosuke. He's a backpacker and he's lost. Aren't we all? Ah, oh, grub it. Your next Pokemon isn't weak to weak to rock. Oh, it's a Geo Dude. Okay. Hey, perfect time for our Polyrath to <laughs> our newly caught Polyrath. Oh, it's an Alolan one. That's a problem. Not anymore, it is. Lost, alone, and defeated. Thought I saw a swine up. a fur it.
Grit Capture. I have not been to the festival yet because I'm too distracted and I'm running around all over the place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that hyper cutter. I think it's time for a pity party over here. I was gonna look at the options with that camera thing it mentioned. Oh, okay, that just does that. Yeah, I think that's that I think that's the change. <laughs> but you can easily do that just by pressing the right mouth the right uh, control stick. There's a lombre. Oh, he doesn't like us. She, in this case. See what that was. There's Vulpix.
nice. You can claim a reward in the Pokedex. Chirizu. Get back here, you. Actually, we already caught one. Now. Yeah, we already caught the Chirizu. He's not of the. He's not one of the returning Pokemon. Or maybe he is. Or I transferred over over one from home. I can't remember. Yeah. All right. There's shock. All right. Now we're on. Now we're on the proper path. There's a, there's a fellow cricket tomb. need to be a critical. <laughs> yeah, and matter of fact, I I did. I have trained on a big stairway. Six star Ludicolo fairy type. Hmm. I'll give that a try, I suppose.
There we go. <laughs> oh, never mind. <clears throat> I like how the last guy's profile picture is a shiny, uh, shiny moth. It's called Flutterwing, yes. Oh, the second guy's taking his sweet time. <laughs> I don't know, he, he's busy trying to pick out a Pokemon for, for the raid. Look at him go. Two of us died already. This with that hydro pump.
<laughs> I was hoping someone would get in the get in the last hit. Oh yeah, we're catching this. Yeah, we're gonna give him a nest ball. <laughs> Kinda matches him. Capsule. Drop flaps. Oh, it's a sand shrew. Yeah, get him. Yeah, J Dub Man, thanks for cricket tuning in. I appreciate it. How you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Stream's going well. Just uh, playing the Teal Mask DLC of Pokemon Scarlet. So I spent most of the I spent most of the stream just exploring the this whole bottom area around here. Too many things to pick up. Too many new Pokemon to catch. Oh, there's a... It's your Terra type. Very. So far, it's enjoyable. Not really that far in the story itself, but it's nice that they brought back some various Pokemon. The new area is, uh, it's small looking, but there, but it's big. Like when you look at the map, it's small compared to Paldea. an extra ball. So your summary. Damn, really high special defense. The box. Yeah. 
That, that, and it's also the first part of the DLC anyway. Second part's supposed to come out later on, later on this year. Survive just sitting there. Oh, you get away from me there, Hair Cross. I'm busy sorting my team so I can fight this person. this crystal. Three star normal type for it. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Pokemon game like this it starts with base region that's DLC that's yeah that'd be pretty sweet Jesus this guy only have three squawkabillies Someday they'll need to. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, there we go. He's got a Staravia. Who also has Intimidate? Oh, joke's on them. Magnazone uses special attack. <clears throat> Unless he hits himself in confusion.
Nice. Yeah, give me a rest. He happens to make chairs in this free time. Here he goes. Just like that. He makes custom picnic chairs depending on your tablecloth. I have not even changed the tablecloth at all, so <laughs> we got like the basic chairs. Flight of stairs. Some echoes. Snorlax would be a lot bigger than that, though. or something behind the house. It's a second signboard. A bit tricky to find, huh? Sorry, I'm following at a distance, so I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of Kugel or Kugel change. Wearing the teal mask, you could bring life back into withered greenery around it. Wearing the crimson mask, you could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. Wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. Wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? 
Mass of the Loyal Three store kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. This just sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? Just, I'm going to come, become someone people can rely on. Maybe just, maybe I could be that ogre's friend. Uh, right. Picture. We're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one. <laughs> you want to be that enthusiastic. On to the next signboard. Oh, you know the mountain the story stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. Climb it from the stairs over there. If you wanted, we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it call it the dreaded den. Yeah, sure. Let's go see it. Reach the infernal pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn at the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. Is it the dreaded den? the background in the corners because you know from Sonic 2. Yeah. I, I just like it because it's a nice animated starry background. Actually, here's a quick ball on you. Or actually, we already caught a bond slide. What the hell am I doing? There's a good handful of games for the Genesis and, and even the Super NES that, uh, that definitely captured some kind of essence to uh, atmospheric city backgrounds. Sand true. And it didn't use a <laughs> nice attack. She's going to bring out the Alolan full mix. Yep. All that right. I have a flamethrower.
Mountain climb and mountain battle. Pony's Mall. You do, Frank. Climb up, I guess. Almost bumped into that Geodude. Though probably should, because he he's another newly added Pokemon. on the spot. Okay, good. <laughs> totally went there the wrong way, but we're here anyway. Did you have trouble getting across a narrow path? What narrow path? I just climbed up the mountain. There it is. The dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. A powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since last time we battled, so you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. Yeah, sure. I'll kick your ass with my level 100 Salamence again. Actually, I don't think he's on the... I don't think he's on the team. I'll kick your ass with whatever Pokemon I've got. Do you have got this? I don't think you do. also need a haircut. Oh, coming at me with a furret. I'm screwed now. Only got three Pokemon. I'll get used to it. Your heart's going to be skipping quite frequently.
<laughs> but that was just one attack. Oh man, it did so much damage. Well, it doesn't help that your Pokemon is quadruple weak to rock. Now he's going to send out a Poliwhirl. Yeah, Skill Villain, why not? You did. Am I ever going to be able to beat you? I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but you never will. Ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See my school, Blueberry Academy? It's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. Oh, Mona would be right at home with that. I was as strong as you. Maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's so have a look at the ogre's den. That might be the ogre. <laughs> what are these two little shits doing in my house? <laughs> Wow, it's fucking nothing. Being all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre, we have plenty of room at our house. We'll totally let it stay with us. No, I'm not. I'm, I've just always liked the stories, but the ogre, that's all. If the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. No way, the sun's already gone down? So I'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. It's not like you gotta go or anything. If you wanted to, you know, check it out, it'll be fun. It does sound fun. No, I'm good. Sh I could show you. It'd be great to go together. Well, I don't want to, though. <laughs> Two things we have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. Uh, maybe I could draw a map. No, just that. Oh, your Rotom phone has a map in it, duh. Too close. I'm gonna ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday too. That deep of a cave. land it. And it's male, so it's... Yeah, so it's... Eh.
Ooh, coughing. Infu Claw. Caught a chingling yet. I think I knocked out the first one that I ran into. Oh, whoops. I meant to do false swipe. We're never going to catch a Chingling at this rate. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we got the backstrike on it. You know what? Maybe just a quick ball will do. Rising gas. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just killed itself using memento. Oh, that's unfortunate. If that's the case, then we better use a quick ball on it. Fairy. Where are you?
wish I had a moon ball. Swine up in here. Either the Neuvern or the Tandemouse. All the way over there, okay. Grandpa, I'm home. Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? This is Cricketoon. He's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, so this is a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? I sure am. 
<laughs> really? We're friends? I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> Thank you for befriending our Kieran here. Oh, Kieran's made a friend. This is my grandma. Fancy that, a friend of Kieran's. We're delighted to have you. Why, is it really already sudden down? It's me, I nearly forgotten. The festival mask starts tonight, doesn't it? Now, Kieran, you too. I'll get out some Jinbei for you so you can go to the festival all gussied up. After that, we get to dress up in Jinbei. Now, now, don't go running off just yet. We have to do up your hair, too. <clears throat> there we are. All done. Oh, I hate my hair. <laughs> I gained another grandson. Teal style card. Increases the selection available to you in boutiques and hairstyles. Oh, okay. All new looks. Hey, Grand, did you know where my... Oh. Ah, what are you doing here? He said he'd go to the Festival of Masks with me. Really? Is that so? Doesn't matter anyway. What are you doing back here? Oh, right, Grant. I couldn't find the mask for the festival. Well, the mask they should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's. Shouldn't be locked, so you freaking can go have a rummage and see what you can find. <laughs> All right, to the shed. First one there wins. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that they might be a little rambunctious. the sandals on. With the socks who can really piss off people. <clears throat> Back my gloves. Oh god, that's ugly. I need to go and change my bloody hairstyle. back to Paldea so we can change your damn hair. I'm not, I'm not sporting that, do. we do for you today? Yeah, two old people just screwed up my hairstyle. I want my hair back. There's all the new ones. Updo. Pony tail. Short bangs. Oh, I kind of like that one. Bun. 
Where's the one that I was sporting? Space buns. Mm. That's the one I was doing. I can't remember. Oh no, there it is, the side part. Yes, maybe back my hairstyle. Yes. Uh, LP. Because <laughs> we got tons of LP. other clothing shops now that we have this teal card. Two-way nylon backpack. So if my character pops in, we can actually see what this is. Oh yeah, I kind of like it. The red one. Give me the red one. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's get that. Sure. Ear flap cap. What do these look like? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. The spec shack. Hexagonal sunglasses. Hexagonal glasses. How hexagonal are we talking? Oh, those are ugly. <laughs> yeah, those are... Those are ugly. Yeah, no. Right, high socks. Ah. Slip ons. <laughs> styles. Rough and tough. Oh, they oh no wait. That's just for the gloves. Ah, there we go. Vivard beanie. 
<laughs> That's kind of cute. And nothing new in those glasses. Yeah, that's it for those clothing stores. There's clothing stores there. Yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like looking at clothing stores. <laughs> Just to see what really got added. Or what's accessible. Casual sandals. Yeah, those are pretty casual. This is the only clothing store on this level. Surely the god he should be able to climb up that. sells picnic stuff. Sells more bags. They just have the two ways that we just saw. Except these are in different colors. have three different varieties of ear flap. Brown Panto sunglasses. What are these? Oh yeah. Kind of like them. Sure. Why does he have like a iffy expression on his face? 
But he just simply doesn't want to be here. Socks. Sock store. Okay, dot high socks. Sure. Trainer gloves. Oh yeah, those look nice. Yeah, give me the red ones. Uh, no. There's also hats. Maybe. High fashion. Dazzling tights. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the real expensive stuff is. Where we can get a frilly backpack. 80,000 polka dollars. Mm, no, that's not my... That's not my thing. Uh, no, still hats. Straw fedoras.
ね。The Vincian look at their clothing options. <clears throat> This is now the clothing portion of the stream. Yeah. I I, I got I got some key item called the teal card, which apparently unlocks some uh clothing options, so now I'm checking all the Clothing stores to see what options are there. Also, thanks for pre cricket tuning in, Yawk. Appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Odor hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, my night's going well. Buy the red one too. Yeah, I did. I did complete the Mewtwo raid. That was uh, probably a week ago now. They got, they got casual sandals as well. Oh yeah, it was a it was a pretty tough one. I was hoping to do it with some with some of my uh, viewers, but couldn't uh, couldn't get it. So I ended up doing it with some randoms and managed to get paired up with three people who knew knew what they were doing and managed to complete it. again. Performance speaker sneakers. I was gonna say speakers. You had to go to Reddit to find a good party? Uh, yeah, I just I just lucked out with uh, <laughs> with uh, just getting some randoms. Classic leather backpacks for a hundred and ten thousand polka dollars. This better be good. Oh, that's puny. What the hell? How is that gonna store? No, I, I wouldn't pay that for a puny ass bag like that. I'd pay that if the if the bag was like from my shoulders to like my butt or something. No, I, that 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 thing's not gonna carry anything. Wet band. Yeah, no. Aviators. <laughs> they had nothing. Nothing I wanted anyway. Just four more clothing stores up here. Nothing in the sneakers. Nothing in the mittens. This one has different varieties of Grievard beanies and pom pom beanies. Or in previous stores. Yeah. Club Master Glasses. Oh, yeah. Nah. 
We'll just buy him. <laughs> this has any different bags. Yeah, more two-way nylon backpacks. But these ones have different styles to them. Oh, that's a cool one. A ghastly one. Oh, it's strange. <laughs> they're all they're all ghastly ones. Riding gloves. Uh, nothing new in, uh, nothing new in helmets. There, that was all. Okay. Back to whatever the heck we were doing. Hair fixed up. <laughs> Gotta be another one. Sis, Cricket Tunes here. Here to ruin your days. It's rolling up like you own the place. I kind of do, actually. I just bought it from your grandpa. There's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I could do about it. Guess you'll have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first serve and all that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Screw masks. I prefer my fancy hat. I'm on now. Don't look so glum. How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style? No. Ugh. We got better Pokemon this time. Uh, more Peko. That's a slight improvement. Uh, sure. Come on, stop with the super effective moves. It has Focus Sash on it. Bruh. Oh, it's in Hangry Mode. And another X Scissor. Sinistra. Okay, this must be the evolved form of Sinistra or Old Chugist. Or is it the other way around, actually? I'll just bring out Salamence.
Oh, she evolved the Mighty Yenna. Or the Poochyena she had. I'm gonna crush you and go to the festival feeling like a winner. Uh, no you're not. To be enamored and distracted by my festival style. If you had better Pokemon. Well, it's not like beating me was gonna get cause another mask to match me up here. Now then let me get my mask. How's that? Look good, don't I? Okay, you can just wear my mask. What? No, I already said it's first come, first serve. Besides, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask the best. No buts about it. Cricket shouldn't just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. I need to apologize. I don't even want a mask. Turn to shred apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. Oh, but don't tell her I told you that, though. Head to the Festival of Masks. can fly over there. be the ogre. <laughs> this is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. I'll keep going for it. You don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or wherever, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Just ignore her. For a picture. Come on, you two, scooch in closer. Stick at my toe, sis. I could plan this only take a second. 
Uh, we don't even get to see the pitcher. All honor to Loyal 3, the brave heroes of Kitakami. Loyal 3 are the Pokemon that protect once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the Loyal 3 like me. What? What are you laughing at? Just thinking that it's funny that, that like, you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Guts of you to laugh, your big sis. Of course, he thinks some, ter some kind of terrible monster is cool. He likes the ogre more than Royal Three. Ooh, they got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Noodles. And maybe the meal powers were actually good. Stall probably the same ones, yeah. Pretty sure we gotta buy at least one of them, so we'll buy this one at least. Just eats the whole thing in there. That I probably just had to talk to him instead. <laughs> oh, he orders two candy apples. <laughs> he just had one, though. Thanks. Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. See, in a Pokemon in Kitakami, it looks like a little candy apple. skull here. Where'd he go? Go up here? Snorlax moved.
This is there's a selfie pose for when you want to be like secretive. Ah. Now, now we can tell people to be quiet. <laughs> of Ogre Austin. Oh, there's Kira. Uh, sure. pretty easy for me that is my score was 6390 taking a while for it to load Ogre House is a traditional game that has been played in this place long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to berry tables to try to earn a high score. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. I noticed the red ones, I need like three or four. Okay, now it's up at the top. Back to the table and plop them all. Oh, there's a next stage. Oh, okay. much difficulty in this game. It's literally just gather up all the berries you can. And just do this. The whole Pokemon coming to eat the berry mechanic is kind of null and void. <laughs> Unless it does get harder later on. Screw you. Ah. ah, there, there, therein lies the rub. We we're carrying too many berries. Nope. 
there's three stages. Yeah, get get wrecked. <laughs> Oh, nice, we got mochi. An enigma berry, a prism scale. A prism scale is nice. We, we, we need that to evolve a Thebas into a Milotic. And that was easy difficulty, too. EXP charm. That increases the EXP points Pokemon get. Gee, I could have used that at the very beginning of the bloody game. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go and beat Cricket Tune Furry. No. She's causing such a scene. I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Oh, there's the ogre. Hmm, who dat? What the ogre doing? for the Pokeball at you now or later? On. Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. It's a cool mask. Neo. Hey. Tune, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for outing ogres, I'm telling you. Nice job, you scared him off. Who was that? Wait, Chris, you shouldn't run off on your own. I'll handle myself, God. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. Lost its mask. Here, take your mask back. Come back, the mountain's dangerous at night. No. Nope. <laughs> of course, that, that that was cliche. It it it's it has a cute face. <laughs> it has to use an ugly mask. We have found the teal mask. We have found the MacGuffin. Pattern after the face of an ogre. Ogre Pond dropped. Oh, nice nice of the game to spoil that Pokemon's name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a Pokemon. Oh, but wait, do you mean the kid we just saw? They ran off towards the mountain. Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the sign words? Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, he just bumped into the ogre. Have <laughs> nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Huh. Back to the festival. 
He didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that, blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? He really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So he found out we've been seeing the ogre without him. I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know. Feel left out or something. I didn't want him go... Didn't run and want him rubbing up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour, either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. You can hold off showing, on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up, too. Earl, I do what I want, thanks. I'd rather go this way. I want to go up the mountain, stupid game. Losing time on all on, on those meal powers. For now, yes. The next day, everyone died. We'll change out of that festival. Tire. Just, just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. Talk to you a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. Better not be lying. If I'm glad I'm going to make you swallow a coughing hole. You first. Just have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? Grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. You know where my house is, right? No. He's awake, huh? <laughs> I 
What did you just call me? You heard him. You're a jerk. It's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. Well, I was being kind. Not like I hit him or anything. <laughs> uh, here, you can see my adventure guide. Yeah, we found this thing. Could this be? This mask, it belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? Bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. Tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Krigatoon. You also met the poor ogre, or Ogre Pawn, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true stories passed down through our family for generations. Why do I have to interact to get this? Oh, because apparently the game thinks this is going to be a long story. Because he has to sit down for it. By word of mouth, I learned it from my father. A story of troops, a story mu that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. Long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. People of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The serious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shining masks attracted more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived, and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the th other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, he found its beloved home in ruin. All that's left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The village, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokémon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. 
honor their sacrifice, the villagers named him the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. It's terrible. Ogre Pond didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three, they're the worst. The story everyone's told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version, version of the history. They revere the Loyal Three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? Probably get angry? Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the Mask Maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the Mask Maker chose to protect his, his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. See, Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't know. I certainly never spoke to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. He's been trying to one-up me, as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Can't say what's going on with the boy, but he's always a sensitive was he was always a sensitive child. Wouldn't surprise me if he somehow in intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Till then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Okay, Grandpa. I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. What that mask you showed me? I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a while? Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we take it back to Ogre Pond. Don't you worry, I'll be sure to take good care of this. Oh, <laughs> Karen was listening in on the whole thing. Of course. Let's see Ogre Pond again, but getting his mass fixed will, fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. I'm gonna ask, what were you and my sis uh, just talking about? Well, this and that, I guess. Oh, I see. So, about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mount. We need to head over the mountain and down towards the north northwest. Go on ahead, I'll catch up. Why'd you lie to me? <laughs> he, does, he doesn't know that you listened in on the whole bloody thing. Oh, we gotta go all the way there. We real now we don't have to go for them now. What's he talking about? You just like stroll up this way. I'm gonna do.
Yeah, that works. There's a charge of bug. No, that's not a church. Is that a church of bug? Or is that the evolve form? No, it's a grubbin, yeah. Charger bugs the evolve form. It was just standing there. We would think it would take a fighting stance, but no, it's literally just standing there with its arms out.
I bumped into him because I thought for a second it was shiny. Cutie fly. Oh, hey, it's, uh... Or a Corio, except it's a different variety. charge bug.
Yes. There's our last sign. This is the Paradise Baron. It's a pretty lonely place, huh? One of the old legends the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Uh, sure. I'm all win. I want to win. I want to win. So I got this. I'm not going to win. Sport a polyrath. See my polyrath? Because you're about to, because you're sending a fur. This is the evolution, new evolution for Apple. Why does it have to be like this? Why? Okay, <laughs> there goes my evasiveness. 
There goes your HP. Well, cause I'm too weak. Yep, that you did. Because I'm weak. That's why I... Check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. Okay. <laughs> See a shadowy figure approaching you from outside the village at twilight. Be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. You should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, and pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. If it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans who fa whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks whenever they went. The one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa or something. That's amazing. I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but... It is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. It's because the ogre seemed sort of scary. Everyone got all afraid of it and drove away from the village. I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left alone like that, treated like some kind of outcast. Yeah, you're right. I think so too, huh? And then the color suddenly changed. <laughs> Want to take that last photo? <laughs> yeah, he don't like us no more. Oh, we're all done with our assignment now. I gotta get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. That's <laughs> Spoink in the background. And then, it's, oh, oh, there's the Spoink. Oh, nice. It's the item that's needed to evolve. <laughs> to evolve a... Uh, a Sinus... What was it? A Sinus Chai or something? Into the Pulp Chud Geist? Geist? And now I've just noticed that all of the nose paths are pointing north. Because their nose is magnetic like a compass. Their nose is always pointing north, as per the Pokedex entries. No, 
I don't want to set destination. I want to highlight Pokemon Center so I can actually fly. <laughs> Oh, nice. Another emote. day. Hello, student I that barely ever talked to. Waiting for you at her place. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. to you before Kiki wakes up. I fear fixed your Ogre Pond's mask, but I'll need more, more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah, according to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. We could just return the mask as is. But I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fix it up first. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Ogre Pond will please to know you care so much for it. Morning, Grandpa. Ah, good morning, Kira. Hehe, you better go kill time some. Yeah, yeah, do what you want, sis. Excuse me, I don't need that kind of attitude from you. That's stuff to do, okay? What's this problem? He's been more bent out of shape since yesterday. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. He's not a teen. Crystal pools at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. <laughs> right, yeah, strong. Go up to the crystal pool. I would, but I think it's starting to get a little late. A little too late. Sells a nice little save and a backup save. There we go. All right. That's going to be it for the stream for tonight. Got some nice progress on the DLC there. Though I was kind of meaning to play another game afterwards, but... Nah, got too engrossed in playing that. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. Um, next stream... Um, I might try to squeeze something in... Uh, 
I try to squeeze something in on Saturday night, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll play if, if I do. And, uh... And uh, there'll definitely be a stream on Sunday, though. The usual Sunday stream, which, uh... I kind of feel like uh, continuing with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on that Sunday. See if we can do some more. Finish off the rest of the side quests and, uh... And, uh, see if we can fight some Lionels. I think it's high time I fought a Lionel or two. I actually picked out a, a red Lionel in-game, so we're gonna start with that and, and, uh, maybe work our way up to the rest of the Lionels or something like that. So, yeah, that'll be the... That'll be the plan on Sunday. Alright, let's see here. Oh, good, the Duders are still streaming. Let's give the first-person Duders a raid. I think they're still trying to get through, uh, yeah, Zelda seasons and, Zelda Oracle seasons and ages, so, yeah. Let's go in there and see if we can help them out a little bit, because I have, I have offered them a little, little assistance whenever I raided them at, when, when they were playing it. So, yeah, feel free to join on that raid, uh, I'm sure they would appreciate it, you don't have to if you don't want to. So, again, uh, next stream will probably be on Sunday, uh, expect, uh, some more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'll I'll have a schedule of uh, next week's streams, depending on uh, or on Sunday, which that will be on the Discord, and it'll also be updated on the stream on the uh, Twitch channel as well. So, with all that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good night. Hope to see you all on Sunday, and please enjoy the first person dooters.